Her interest in Incredible Edible Tognodon actually um, became one of her survey ease. <laughs> um, and a, an important part of what I'm going to talk about is, is actually networking. I've been involved with the food bank in Tognodon as well. Um, and our group, our local vegan group, Three Valley Vegans, uh, is the group that I'm representing. But networking has been a, a huge part of setting this, uh, this group up. Uh, you might wonder perhaps what where we stand in terms of thrift and make do and and sustainability. Uh, I think the main thing to say is that a vegan diet is the most sustainable for the world and its future. Um, most of the practical information about how we set up and who, where and when, of course, is in the uh, booklet. But um, my st I'm hoping not to ramble, but my story begins a little bit before that. I came back. Uh, to England after living in, in France for um, a number of years and I just chose Todd, put a pin in the map and chose Todd <laughs> to be my new home and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made um, and I think most people who live there uh, agree with that. Um, I was keen to get involved with the vegetarian group when I came back but there wasn't one in the town, there hadn't been one there since the 70s so here was my opportunity. Uh, one not to be missed. I soon became involved with Incredible Edible um, and I think it's fair to say that Three Valley Vegans uh, might never have existed without the support and the help and the inspiration that we've had from Incredible Edible right from the beginning. We work closely with them and I personally <coughs> have been hugely inspired by the work that they do. Uh, I began uh, running some cookery workshops through Incredible Edible vegan food of course um, and this is kind of how it all began uh, one of the attendees on uh, a pastry afternoon that I ran <coughs> Elizabeth who's part of our group now um, she'd heard and, and so had I about something called a vegan approach which was to be held in Sheffield um, and I'm going back several years now and we both wanted to go and investigate that which we did we spent a day there uh, the vegan approach is um, have you heard of veganuary a lot of you I should think maybe yes well it's um, it's run on the terms of a vegan pledge so you've pledged to be vegan for we're coming on all right, right one. yeah okay. yeah thanks yeah. I don't want it running while well, yeah, yeah I'm just going to yeah it's not uh, behaving. Right. Okay. Which did you want? Don't want to get it going. I just want to uh, no, I'm going to put it on when I, when okay. I get to that point. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a, a, a pledge to be to try to be vegan for a month, see how it goes, and if it's for you, then you carry on. And the vegan approach was started in London several years ago. Moved up to to Sheffield. <laughs> Elizabeth and I went to that. Um, and we decided that we were so inspired by it that we would like to run the same event in Todd, which we did. It was five months of very hard work <coughs> and, and planning, but we did, and we ran a full day, um, a Saturday, where we had over 60 people register with us, one of whom was Mary Claire, <laughs> who's remained vegan since then. Um, and our, pledge, our pledges were supported throughout the month. We put on various events. They had bodies to support them. And when we all came back a month later for our second day, we had 20, 22 people who wanted to remain vegan. So what did they want? They wanted a group. So we had to then, and of course we wanted to, start a vegan group. Um, this began in January 14. <coughs> with quite a small um, band of volunteers, but then we, we launched the group. Um, where am I up to now? Right, we now have a, a mailing list of an email list of over 200 people who receive uh, a monthly um, newsletter. We have two Facebook pages, all the usual, an active website, um, Twitter account. And we put on an event um, in essence, once a month, but sometimes we do more than once a month, and we vary what we do 
greatly. So we might have uh, a store on the market pr promoting vegan food. We always, we always do a lot of food sampling. We're very big on eating, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. So wherever we are, there's always free food to try. Uh, we have socials, we have potlucks where everybody brings along their own dish and tries out other people's recipes. We have walks, we have uh, summer picnics, uh, we give nutrition talks, we put on cookery demonstrations. We've just actually been given um, a grant from Tottenham Town Council to enable us to run five cookery demonstrations during the next five minutes to go. <laughs> 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 during the next uh, year um, and people are always really keen because in fact one we're going to the first one we're going to run is we call it tofu night or tofu night and people say what do we do with it you know you're not supposed to eat it but what do we do with it um, so we, we run the, we've done this one before and we run the whole evening uh, around what to do with your tofu um, we put on our biggest event, which was a little bit uh, ambitious, but turned out very well. In February this year, we put on a vegan fair. Vegan fairs have become, you know, the thing to do over the last couple of years. Started off just a few of them in, in big towns and in cities, but they're now all over the country. So we put a tiny one on in Todd, and it was, it was terrific. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, we had a lot of, um, we had one room with stall holders, so people with, you know, uh, commercial trading, home selling, all, all sorts of vegan products. We had lots of free tasting, we had a member of um, And we, we did a pledge again in conjunction with the Vegan Society, who, who run one right throughout the year. And so people then had the opportunity to pledge again for the and that was successful too. We had 30 people take up the pledge.